we can demonstrate the reaction of metals with oxygen in a combustion reaction by starting with lithium. Here we see that we've got some lithium and lithium is always stored in paraffin or some kind of oil. The reason for that is because it is a group one element and we know that group one elements are very reactive specifically with water and so we don't store it in air because there's very often water vapor present in the air that it can react with. It's for that reason that I'm wearing gloves as well because there's often moisture on the skin that can react with the lithium or any group one element. What you can also see is you can see that you can see how reactive the lithium is by seeing that it is very shiny where I've just cut it but the longer you leave it the more it goes this dark color the reason for that being is that it oxidizes with oxygen that is present in the air. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ignite this piece of lithium using the Bunsen burner and putting it on this deflagrating spoon. Once it is ignited, I'm going to put it into this gas jar that contains oxygen gas and we're going to see how it burns in pure oxygen. You'll see that the initial reaction here is the paraffin that burns, it burns that yellow flame. And then once the paraffin is burnt off, we wait for the lithium to ignite before putting it into the gas jar. We can see that the reaction happens far faster. It is a far more rapid reaction in oxygen. That is because the pure oxygen allows the reaction to proceed much faster. We can see that there is a white smoke formed and that also forms along with the metal oxide that is formed, the lithium oxide. What we also know is we know that when a metal oxide reacts with water, we know that it forms a metal hydroxide. We know that most hydroxides are basic substances. So what we can do is we can prove or show that that is a basic substance by adding red litmus. We know that red litmus paper is an indicator that turns blue in the presence of a base or in the presence of an alkaline solution. So what's happened here is we have formed a certain amount of lithium oxide. Some of that lithium oxide has combined with the water that is present in the bottom of this gas jar. And what we can see now is that when we put, when we replace the litmus paper in that water, we've got a alkaline solution, we can see that that red litmus paper turns blue almost instantaneously.